Hi, welcome to Moms Are Talking. My name is Amy Treyer, and my co-hosts today are Michelle Gannon and Susan Lee. We'd like to thank Mom Productions for underwriting our show. Our guest today is Alyssa uh, Lewis. She is the founder and a mom of Sweet Peas and Stilettos, the modern mommy internet guide for busy moms. She'll be with us today to talk about how to be a mompreneur while raising your kids. We'd also like to say thank you to a salon in Las Gatas, Sono Belize, for doing our hair and makeup today. We feel very pampered, so thank you very much. They did a great job. Now, on to our current topic. Our current topic today is, recent polls have shown that majority of Americans prefer baby boys over baby girls. And actually, the majority of that is driven by men, with the majority of men preferring baby boys over baby girls with women not really having a preference. And I also thought it was interesting in the poll that um, the younger, so 30 years old and younger, the majority went up. More people preferred baby boy over baby girl if they if were under 30. If younger. Oh, under 30. Under 30. Oh. So what do you guys think about that? Why do Americans prefer uh, baby boys <laughs> over baby girls? Or why do men prefer baby or boys why <laughs> over baby <laughs> girls? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think some of it's just pretty obvious, right? Carrying on the name. Yeah. You kind of maybe you feel like you bond more as a father with a son. Mm -hmm. You know how the plumbing works. You know what goes on. You're <laughs> right. at, yeah, girls might seem kind of scary or intimidating. I don't know. Right. What, what do you guys think? Why? I'm curious about whether or not girl, women also prefer to have boys over yeah. girls. I mean, I think part of us, I don't know if you were like an awful teenager as a teenager. <laughs> Teenage girls are scary, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I was I a good teenager. I think I was. I don't know if that's my dad, but I think I was a pretty good teenage girl, but yeah. I mean, there were definitely some scary yeah. ones out there that, yeah. and so I think possibly that may also be influencing Play people. into it, yeah. yeah. Teenage girls get pregnant. Yeah, that's teenage true. Teenage boys don't, I yeah. don't know. I asked my dad, I'm the oldest of four, so I asked my dad yesterday, did you really want a boy? Were you hoping I was a boy or a girl, you know? He goes, no, I really wanted a girl as How my many, first child. How many, girl? Oh, a girl? No, then... there's two boys, two girls. Oh. Did they always but know I'm the that, oldest. that they were going to have a lot more children? Uh, well, they say the last two were mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, don't worry, no one's going to be offended. Um, but it was me and then my brother. But my dad jokes and says, well, girls, you know, they babysit, they'll take care of us when we're old, the boys won't care about us when oh, we're old. That's so funny. It's it's okay. interesting that you say that because yeah. at, um, at Costco the other day we were um, I was shopping with my daughter and she's yeah. just so cute she has her little sunglasses on her purse yeah. and she's hanging on the side of the cart going down the aisle and this woman comes up to me out of the blue and she goes girls are your future oh. um, and I was like uh, so I'm writing down and having fun and she's like, I have three boys and they have nothing to do with me, but yeah. girls are your future. Wow. And it was really interesting. I was just surprised that like, completely out of the blue that yeah. she said that. Wow. Which, yeah. So now in the market, there's kits where you can detect the gender of your child. Like we six should. weeks, I think, into your pregnancy. I know. Six weeks you can detect well, your pregnancy. They but claim, they claim, they claim that you can. Yes. There's a lot of controversy around that. Sure. Um, and you know, normally you wait what twenty weeks when you get the ultrasound. More than that, I think, is right? it about is it, oh, yeah, I, think I don't it know. Is That's when weeks. I found yeah. out the sex. So why do you think people want to find out so early? What's well, the point of finding out six weeks versus twenty? I think for uh, in some situations it's actually for troubling reasons. Yeah. Which is some people may choose to terminate if mm -hmm. they don't have the gender that they're wanting. Right. Um, you know, it can be for cultural reasons, it could be for personal reasons, right. or it could be for medical reasons. In which I've heard case, that too, you know, like if a, a disease can be passed situation. on, there's certain right. diseases that are passed on from mother to son yeah. versus, you know, having a daughter. I also read somewhere where, you know, autism is really prevalent in boys. boys yeah. And I read an article about a woman who had an autistic son and she was worried about having another son. Wow. And wanted to know the gender early on. Well, I wouldn't use this test because I, we, no. I actually had some news. Um, I'm pregnant. <gasps> you are. <laughs> yeah. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, yeah. so, are excited. you going to do that? <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> I did it, and oh. it says that I'm having a boy. Not that I should like be showing my urine to uh, yeah, all of. Sorry. <laughs> it says that it I'm says, having a boy, okay. but I know so I'm we'll having test a girl. It like Oh, you do know. Yes, so. we did a CBS analysis, and so oh, well, there I wouldn't go. exactly go on this test. There you go. Sure. Well, <laughs> proof that it's not 100% positive. So yes. one of the issues with over-the-counter tests like these are that they're not genetic tests. Right. Yeah. It's um, the stick test, which uh -huh. doesn't actually test the, um, the, the, the baby at all. 
And so that's right. one reason that it sure. may have come up with not an accurate result for yeah. you. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Okay. But congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. If you have a topic that you would like us to discuss on the show, please send us a line at um, momsaretalkingtv.com. Now it's time for our mom's fave section, and we're going to talk a little bit about going back to school. Now that can be super anxiety producing for parents and for children alike. You know, the children worry, is my mom really going to come back and pick me up at the end of the school day? You know, and mom worries, can my child find the bathroom? Are they going to make friends? Am I going to make friends with the new moms? Right. Um, and so I brought in a couple of my favorite children's books. And these are things that you can read with your child to make them a little bit more secure about the idea of going to school. Uh -huh. um, and this one is called Wow School. It's for slightly younger children. Uh -huh. um, it's about a little girl named Izzy and her first day at preschool. How cute. Now it goes through the whole day of Good. preschool, which is really great for kids yeah. who haven't been to school before. Right. Let's them know what to expect. Um, and the great thing also about this is that Izzy is not scared at all about going to school. She hops off the bus, goes straight into the school, which she's laughing as soon as she gets there. And part of the reason is because her school is just amazing. Ah, look you know, if you look, there are so <laughs> yeah, many things a lot. for I know, kids. I would like to go there. <laughs> There's so many things for kids to look at, to see, to look forward to. Mm. You know, there are the the beads and the art and I the love friendly the illustrations. teacher. Yeah, oh, the really illustrations pretty. are colorful. Right. They show kids what it's like to be at circle time. And I love how there's down. just what one word on each page. One yeah, word on each page. Nice. Wow, books. Right. And they're all Simple. exciting words. Yeah. You know, so that the, the children can really see that school can be a really fun and exciting right. place. Oh, that's cute. And the colors are bright. Right. Yeah. yeah, fun. So, and it's also fun to look at little red-haired Izzy. Yeah. yeah. She's so cute. cute. She is so cute. cute. Um, and then the next book is for slightly older children. Uh -huh. It's called Wanda's First Day. Oh, I know that book. I um, love it. Yeah, isn't this a wonderful mm -hmm. book? Yeah. Um, this is about Wanda, who's a little bit older, and she's very nervous, actually, about going to school. And when she gets there, she discovers that she looks a little different oh, from the other girls else. in the class. Yeah. yeah. Is it supposed to be kindergarten, or does it not? It doesn't preface? matter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really tell. But she's all black. She has big black bat wings. She has oh. octopus sandwiches, and all the other <laughs> girls you, see, you can see are a little more pink. All right. <laughs> but you know, by the Seriously. end of the day, she has a great time, and so I think this helps kids realize huh. that they can be different, yeah. you know, that they don't have to give up being themselves when they're in a new school situation. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And I have two boys and they actually love Did they like that books. one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Despite the series. This book, yeah, exactly. So, uh, Amy, you well, have some my other fave things. this week is, again, going back to school. Um, we are, Preschool did a fundraiser through this company and it's actually mom run, mom founded. Uh, four moms got together and they were tired of their kids losing their stuff at school. Uh, oh, tell me about it. So that. they created this uh, company called Mabel's Labels and it's online and what they are, are these labels and um, they're dishwasher safe, microwave safe, laundry safe. Good. So this cup right here I borrowed from my friend. Um, you know, sippy cups, little things that you use um, for lunch. This has been through the dishwasher many times. And as you can see, the labels are still perfectly wow, on there. Amazing. They're not coming wow. off. Yeah, really cool. They're bright, they're fun. You personalize them. You can do a first name or a last name. Um, and then, you know, those shirts that maybe you have to wear uh. at school, like our little preschool shirt, there's a tiny little label in there, and it might be oh, kind of hard to see, but they're small, which is kind of nice. And again, been through the laundry a million times, That's and so look funny. at how like just put it, on. it looks brand new. How do you put it on? Is there a machine, or you just stick no, it on? No, you just stick it on. Oh, very yeah. cool. So you have to they're order sticky them. labels. You order, you order them. them. So they come, like you can get a school pack, it's called, and so it comes with like a variety of labels, some of the big ones, some of the little ones. And then they also have these really fun tags, which are great, right? To <laughs> For put your on. child? Yeah, really. <laughs> on them, like a dog. No, on their lunchbox or their backpack or things that you know you oh, don't want to lose. Idea. And they're just fun, and you can pick out like a little logo or something fun on it. They also have these really cool shoe labels. So for those special pair of shoes, oh, yeah. oh, you just put the sticker nice. in there. Obviously, you're not going to do all your shoes. they're going to lose shoes, don't yeah, you love it? Exactly. <laughs> like, but they sell that stationary. Way. So useful. Yeah, they're really yeah. fun, and the the. The quality is really good, and they do school fundraisers, which is always great too, right? Yeah. So they don't come off. They don't come off. You can put them, Michelle. You can put those on the books that you have. On the books. Oh yeah. yeah. Talk about. No, definitely. So this my um, 
my mom's fave is really, it's a company, it's called AsianParent.com, and I think, I've probably talked about this before, but we're teaching our children how to speak Chinese, and mm -hmm. it's a little hard to get products. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times I order them from China, and who knows, you know, how long they take, yeah. or the quality, or legality of them all. Mm -hmm. um, and so I order all of my stuff through AsianParent.com, and they have DVDs, books, I mean, the whole shebang, games. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, oh, and, and that's so, an American book. Yeah, well, that's, actually, what I do is I oh, yeah. buy the American book. So, like, I have uh -huh. this one, um, which is the Brush Your Teeth, Please. Uh -huh. And my daughter loves this one. Uh -huh. But what I, I, I can't read it, unfortunately. Right. But um, <laughs> I have my babysitter is Chinese. And so I read the book to my daughter in Chinese, in English. And then she reads it to her in Chinese. And uh -huh. so she then learns all of that vocabulary going through. So this is for my daughter, who's three. And it's a just brushing teeth book. But mm -hmm. she'll learn brushing teeth vocabulary. And then I do the exact same thing with my son. So I ordered all uh -huh. these American mm -hmm. books or English-speaking books yeah, for my son. Title. Yeah, yeah sure, so yeah. I'll read it in English. Uh -huh. And then my sitter will read it in Chinese. Oh, that's Okay, those are wonderful, yeah. Michelle. Okay, um, fun. Okay, we hope that these will make your child a little bit more eager to go back to school. Um, if you want to check out more about them, you can come to our website, www.momsaretalkingtv.com. And also feel free to email us with your own mom's faves. Thank you for being with us today. We hope you enjoyed the show. And thank you to Keith Nelson Counseling Services for sponsoring our show. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.